Are you looking for creative ways to come up with the best social media handles for your business? Then you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'll share more than 10 strategies that will help you generate some pretty cool username ideas. Make sure to stick around until the end, because I'll share a tip or two to ensure that the username you created is good to use across social media platforms. I learned this the hard way with my soul driven solopreneur username, but more about that later. Now, without further ado, let's get started with strategy number one. I know this one seems obvious to some of you. For other people, it might be precisely what they need to hear right now, because they went straight into overthinking this rather than going for the obvious thing. So the strategy is use your real name. If you're a personal brand or if you're a business brand, use your business name. If you say to yourself, duh, I thought I'd need to be super creative. No, you don't. Here's your permission slip. Use your business name or real name. You can even sprinkle in your middle name if you have one. If you're thinking right now, are you serious, Sabine? Why do you think I'm here? My preferred username is already taken by someone else. That's why I need to get my creative juices flowing with your video. If you're one of those people or brands, make sure to leave a comment below this video saying, that's me, so that we can send you some virtual hugs and creative vibes from all over the world. And by the way, you will love the upcoming strategies. To make this video more practical, I'll give you some examples for each strategy. Let's create professional usernames for an imaginary person called Linda Sophia Brown and a fictional business brand called Skylight Views. If they'd applied strategy number one, they would jot down the following username ideas. So Linda could play around with her first name and her last name and note down usernames like at Linda Brown or at Linda Sophia Brown or at Linda or at Linda Sophia or at Brown. Skylight Views could go with, surprise, at Skylight Views. To get the most out of this video, do the exercise for your own business handle after I explain each strategy. In the end, you will have created a list with a myriad of username ideas to choose from. Pinky promise. Let's get to strategy number two. This one is all about using your initials. So for Linda, it could be at LSB or at LB or at LS or at L or maybe a combination of them like at Linda S. Brown. For Skylight Views, it could be at SLV or at SV. The only thing you would need to be aware of when applying this strategy is that some online platforms don't allow those super short usernames that have only one to three characters. So let's keep brainstorming with strategy number three. This strategy is all about shortening your name. Gary V is the best example I can give you for this strategy because it's tough to do it for the imaginary and fictional ones. Rather than using his unpronounceable last name, he shortened it to V or you could even just go with one letter. Think of your name and have a go to see if you can generate something short for your name or brand. Now over to strategy number four. Strategy number four is all about playing around with your nickname. If you have one and if it's appropriate in your industry and your clients call you by your nickname anyway, use it. The same applies if your brand has a nickname. Famous examples for this strategy would be the profiles of J. Lo or The Rock. Using our previous examples, Linda could go with at Lynn Brown or at Linda Fia Brown or at Lynn Sophia or at Linz. You get the gist. Skylight Views could go with at SL views. Do you want to create more social media name ideas to make your final call? Let's check out the next strategy. Strategy number five. This one is about sprinkling in your industry, profession, services, products, etc. For example, if Linda is a designer, she could go with at Linda Brown Designs or at Linda Brown Designer or go with at Linda Brown Studio. If she's a coach, she could try at Linda Brown Coaching or at Linda Brown Coach. Suppose she's passionate about candles or shoes. In that case, she could go after at Linda Brown Candles or at Linda Brown Shoes. Or if you want to add in an official title, she could go with something like at Linda Brown PhD or at Linda Brown GP. Got it? 
The same principle applies to the brand usernames. Skylight Views could go with at Skylight Views Design or at Skylight Views Builder or at Skylight Views Gallery or at Skylight Views Realtor and so on. You could even tie in your company structure, for example, at Skylight Views LTD or at Skylight Views Business. Are you all set for strategy number six? Then click the like button below and let's get to it straight away. Strategy number six. This is all about adding your location. This could be your street or city. It could be your state. It could be the country. It could be the postal code. We all know the one from Beverly Hills, right? 90210. Or did I just reveal how old I am? So have a play. It could be at Linda Brown NY or at Linda Brown Canada or at Linda Brown on Cavill Avenue and so on. For Skylight Views, it could be at Skylight Views 90210 or at Skylight Views Sydney. By the way, adding in a location could be great from a search engine optimization perspective, especially if you're a local brand or want to add some of the glam that comes with your location. Oh, to the next one, strategy number seven. This one is all about taking it up a notch and adding what I call a title in front of it. For example, Mr, Miss, the real, original, authentic, genuine, I am, we are, and so on. For Linda, this means at the Linda Brown or at I am Linda Brown or Miss Linda Brown or Dr. Linda Brown if we're talking about real titles. Skylight Views can use this strategy too. For them, handles applying this strategy could be at official Skylight Views or at we are Skylight Views. You get it. Let's move on to strategy number eight. At your creator tag. This is similar to the previous one. Just add in the word by or with or something similar. Linda could create usernames such as at with Linda Brown or at created by Linda Brown or Skylight Views could go with at by Skylight Views or made by Skylight Views. Easy peasy. Buckle up because the next one's coming right up. Strategy number nine. Use your domain ending. Yes, the one you use in your website URL anyway. Linda has the website lindasofiabrown.com. So she could go with the username at lindasofiabrown.com. By the way, more about why I didn't include the dot in that example handle later on. If Skylight Views have the domain ending .cc or .io, they could go ahead with a handle such as Skylight Views CC or Skylight Views IO. Pretty cool, huh? Let's keep up the momentum and introduce the next strategy, which is strategy number 10. No, it's not the last one, because I have a bonus strategy for you. This one is super fun, because it gives your handle some personality. It could be about particular traits you or your brand have, or maybe a quirky something about you or your brand. Get a little bit creative here, but also use it with caution. Let's assume Linda runs a rescue home for cats. She could use at Cat Girl Linda Brown, or if she's a personal trainer, she could use at Fit Linda Brown, or if she's a yoga instructor, she could use at Chilled Linda Brown. For example, for the brand, let's say it's a techy one, we could go with at Geeky Skylight Views or at Skylight Views Nerds. Need more inspiration? Really? Good! Let's look at the bonus strategy. Strategy number 11. Mix them all up. We talked about using initials, we talked about locations, we talked about titles, right? We spoke about all of those different things. It's time to mix it up. Use your initial with a title, match your trade with a nickname, use your first names with a location, and the list goes on and on. Get creative. Now you have all the strategies at your fingertips and your idea list from the previous exercises in front of you. Shake them up, create cool combinations, and come up with some unique ideas. Brainstorm, brainstorm, brainstorm. And don't edit anything out of your list. You can always do that later on. Just get some cool and creative usernames on paper and then decide. Pick some of your best username ideas. Yes, more than one. Because I'm going to share how you can choose a username or handle that is good to go across many social media platforms. I learned this the hard way with my soul-driven solopreneur username. When I wanted to secure my handles, guess what happened? 
Twitter doesn't accept names over 15 characters. I was a little bit, ah, uh, yeah, annoyed about that. So I needed to choose a different username for my Twitter account, even though I would have preferred having consistent handles across platforms. So, the rules when it comes to choosing a username that can be used online across all major social media platforms, think Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Clubhouse, YouTube, LinkedIn, would be choosing a username that is between 5 and 15 characters long. Use only letters from A to Z and from 0 to 9 if you really need to. I associate numbers always with a handle like catgirl372972 and use only and really if you absolutely need underscores. So no hyphens, no dots or periods in your username. Sticking to these rules will ensure that you can use the same handle for most of your accounts. Hello, handle consistency, memorability and brand recognition. And by the way, if you want to make sure that the username you've just picked is yours to secure on all key platforms, then watch this video at the top here, where I'll share with you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can use specific tools entirely for free to check username availability across channels. I hope to catch you in this video or in one of my other ones. See ya!